Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect your Mac to an IP printer. Um, you don't actually have to have a AirPrint printer like you do for your iPhone or iPad. Any I, um, IP printer will generally work if you can get the driver. I have um, a brother HL2250DN, um, D for the duplex and M for the network. Um, I've already installed it on my network um, just by giving it a static IP address on my DHCP server. I'm just going to verify that I can connect to it first uh, just by browsing to the web URL. So I'm going to go to 192.168.1.220, um, which is the IP that I've given it, a static IP, so that doesn't change. And it's giving me the web um, interface, which sort of shows that this is the correct place for my printer. Um, so now I can go ahead and add it. To add it, I'm going to go to the Apple at the top left, and then to System Preferences. Once I'm on System Preferences, I can look for Print and Scan. Uh, so going on print and scan, it's probably actually going to find my printer. If you've got it locked here, you may need to unlock it. Then you can go ahead and press the plus. It's actually found my printer here. Um, if you've got a recognized printer, um, it may discover it automatically. Uh, but at worst case scenario, it may not. So I'm going to show you how to do that by clicking add other or printer or scanner. When you're in here again, it's come up. Um, I'm going to choose to go for IP. I'm going to set that up using um, IP address. Protocol, I would leave it as LPD. It's going to support most models. Then we're going to need to go ahead and input the address. This is the IP address, which I just told you for mine is uh, 192.168.1.220, uh, but it needs to be in the same subnet as uh, whatever the IP of your, um, your computer that you're using or want to print from is. You can then choose the name of your printer. So I'm going to call it My Personal Printer and the location in my room. Um, again here it's automatically picked up <coughs> it's automatically picked up the driver for me. Um, I would tend to I would use this if it gives it available. If not, you can go on um, select printer software. This is going to allow you to select from ones that are already installed. So if you manually installed one before you um, tried to add the printer it would show up here. Alternatively, you can click other and you can browse to your driver. Um, but a lot of the time, the generic PL, PCL driver is actually going to work. Um, so if in doubt, I would, I would try using this first. You will find it it's pretty good with Apple and it works quite a lot of the time. Um, so for the cases of this, I'm just going to add it using this way. I'm going to add. It's going to ask you if you want to add the duplexing because um, it's picked up that my my printer has a duplexer. So I'm going to press OK to that, um, and it's going to set up and configure the device. You can see it here, it's idle because it's got it, it can see it on the network. Um, and then you can just go ahead and print something. That's how you add an IP printer uh, on your Mac. Thanks for watching.